Hello, my name is Austin. Some of you may know me as Jexy. So don't leave. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what's making my computer start. So. <clears throat> Bro. Move it, move it. Stewie just called me sexy. <laughs> In this video, we're going door to door for authentic reactions as we unveil for the first time the Perifs Era 1. So I graduated in 2019. Took a job at my dad's company, worked there for about a year, until I had this idea. And ever since then, I did not want to do anything but this. So, here since that moment, and over $10,000 spent, here we are. And here we go. Right now, mice and peripherals and shit like headset keyboards um uh, all that shit has been figured out but we just have so many good mice out that it's it's getting to the point where there's like diminishing returns on how good your aim can actually be and it just comes down to individual skill otherwise i'm focusing on rewriting my novels working on new music and a heap of other videos too but not necessarily for this channel because i'm no longer doing for reviews we haven't seen anything splash or new that you know, I look up on it's like, oh wow, that, that made like a dent in the industry. There's nothing like innovative or new you could do with it. It's the same shit, right? I don't know when that's gonna change. I don't know what the next big mouse is gonna be. Like what else could you really do? How else could you innovate the game of mice? I don't know. Please introduce yourself. Okay, I'm David, I'm working for a tech startup right now called niche.com, uh, hobbies, music, I don't know if you can see a guitar behind me. Also, I like to dabble on the, on the guitar a little bit. Hey, my name is Austin Orth. Uh, I'm a site reliability engineer. I, I also do audio engineering on the side um, and have produced the soundtrack for the Perif's Mouse. Hi, my name is Roger Payne. I am a photographer, videographer. I'm also a gamer and Twitch streamer, as well as a content creator. Hey, I'm Jason, uh, or Son of Paint. Um, I run tournaments for College Call of Duty League and play and stream Apex and Dota, Overwatch, a bunch of different games like that. Um, but most recently, I've been playing a ton of Apex. Hi, my name is Greg. I am a systems design engineer. I love to play Overwatch. I think it is a fantastic hero-based game. I really test my FPS abilities at times and also my situational awareness. I am a, what I would consider a casual gamer, uh, mainly Counter-Strike, League of Legends, but as far as any game that would be related to first-person shooters and Skill-based shooters, Counter-Strike is my, my go-to. Uh, I primarily play Destiny 2, uh, Max Light. Um, I mostly just raid and play PvE, but I do play PvP whenever my clan's into it. Uh, and so, Iron Banner, all that. So, I've been a huge Tom Clancy fan for, uh, I don't remember a time where I haven't been. It started my, mainly with uh, Splinter Cell, and then it grew to Ghost Recon, um, and then it grew into Rainbow Six Vegas 2. In college, my buddy introduced me to Rainbow Six, and I tried it, and I hated it my first time playing, actually, because it didn't feel anything like his old Rainbow Six game. But then, I don't know, something something in me 
watching some YouTube videos here and there with like your boy Roy and Varsity Gaming and a few others, just watching them play Siege and how much fun they had, as well as just like how different it was, um, kind of made me want to play it and I bought it and I don't know, first wall bang headshot that I got, I was like, I think this is, I think this is the game. Apex having really high mobility, um, higher health pools, longer time to kill, um, a lot of crazy like movement options and quick turnaround and playing in like a three, like a really 3D environment, whereas like, especially like PUBG and Warzone are more like boots on the ground and stuck to the floor. I love that kind of all over the place, tons of things happening from all different directions. My favorite mouse is the only mouse that I've ever used, which is the which is the Steel Series Rival. It was given to me as a gift for free, so it's the only gaming mouse I've ever used. And I've loved it so far. It's starting to fail on me now because it's getting old, but that's my only reference. Uh, I currently use a BenQ Zowie, um, I think it's an EC8. EC, whatever the EC series is, uh, Davina Blue color with a Kamade uh, wire holder. So right here, I've got the Logitech Superlight Pro, Pro Superlight, I don't know what it's fully called. Um, I really like this mouse because I'm not someone who needs like the 30 different buttons on the side or anything like that. I've got my right mouse button, I got my left, I got my middle mouse, and I got these two on the side, which I primarily use for like melee and some like specific move, like a throwing grenade or something like that. It's super lightweight and I'm able to really do my flicks without feeling like I really have to throw my hand into it or anything like that. Before that, I had, I think it's the three, G302. Um, it was kind of a beast of a mouse, it was pretty heavy, but I really liked it but I prefer this one over that. For a long time, I used the G502, very heavy mouse. When I started playing more FPS games, especially when I really got into playing Apex and was trying to play high ranked lobbies, often running into like Shroud and Asu and other guys, um, realized I needed something a lot lighter because I was just not able to match them. So I switched over to using a G Pro Wireless um, and I've been using that for the last two, three years. Yeah, currently I use a wireless Logitech G703. I switched to that after not really liking wired mice because they would just get tangled up or it was too short to connect to my computer, however I had it set up. So I switched to wireless and this one is lightweight and it's very responsive. Just grab your grip for your mouse. Your, your oh. fingertip or claw grip. Um, that's a good question. Uh, is this, I feel like this is fingertip. Mm, that's like a, maybe or a palm grip maybe. Palm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd just, I'd say palm. Okay. I'm more of a claw holder. Um, I, I can get like really tight gripped on it. Um, I feel like I'm more precise when, when I'm playing more competitively, but whenever I feel like I'm just gonna have fun tonight, I get a little bit loose and just, get a little almost lazy in my grip, but primarily I'm a claw grip with, with my mice. It's probably a little bit of, it's, it's a little fingertippy. Actually, I guess it's a little claw grip. I actually don't know, this, I would consider this claw grip, I guess. Yeah, no, I don't know. What would you call it? I don't know how to- Maybe a hybrid. Uh, okay, yeah, it's a little hybrid -y, I guess. Definitely use like my fingertips mainly. Um, so even because, partially because I have decently long fingers, and so I have to play you know, like a claw grip in order to hold the mouse, um, which sometimes is usually fine. The biggest inconvenience is when trying to press extra buttons, just trying to hold it that way while also trying to press buttons. So I usually put things that I'm not actively using while aiming on those on the mouse buttons. That way it doesn't interfere with trying to aim. Um... I don't know how you describe the mouse grip. I see it. Can I claw? Yeah. Claw grip? Yeah. Let's uh, hop into the control. Let's play some Apex. Alright. <laughs>
what do you know about the mouse coming into this? I know pretty much nothing about the mouse. I saw one prototype a while back, but then it's since, I'm sure, been changed a bunch. Nothing, except for Austin. Do you want to be called Austin or Jesse? Okay. What so, do you know about that prototype? The only thing I know is the design of it. I remember a hexagonal design on the, the mouse that I saw. But other than that, just kind of what it looks like. I literally know nothing about this mouse, except for they have a gorgeous logo. Um, and that Austin has this wild notion that he is going to innovate the mouse. That hasn't really changed outside of adding probably too many buttons onto a mouse. Ever since he's been saying that, I've been really excited to see what the crap he's talking about. Um, but I, I, other than that, I'm just like, I'm gonna innovate the mouse. I don't know anything. Cause I can't even wrap my mind as to how you and, for me, most of the time, like I think right mouse, left mouse, middle mouse, these two are just special. That's all I can think of that you would need for a mouse. So I'm really excited to see what he has. Uh, yeah, I tested the, um, I tested the prototype for the mouse. You know, if it pans out well in the in the final uh, version of the mouse, like uh, would be super great for shooters and and uh, any gameplay that involves quicker horizontal movement. Um, so yeah, uh, that's probably the main thing I noticed from trying that out. Um, I remember talking with Jexy for quite a while now, about a year, and he had this crazy idea with changing what a mouse could do or changing some features to a mouse to make it different than what everyone else was doing. Um, I'm kind of coming in a little blind. Um, I've seen um, like one or two social media posts about it on like the press Twitter and stuff, but mostly just coming in with no expectations or preconceived notions or anything like that. Whenever you're ready. Hitting play in three, two, one. Oh, it's oh. I really like the design of the wheel. Well, I like that wheel already. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. the size of it. That's pretty dope. That's, that's pretty sly. <laughs> Thanks. That's like, that's like, that's genuinely like Corsair level quality that is um logitech level quality video i want to watch it so that's interesting the first the two things i noticed was it's not as long mm -hmm. as like the g pro and the buttons on the side are like squared off and not rounded i'm curious how the how it being like shorter at least but maybe i'm wrong based off of just in just the video i'll see when i actually get my hands on it it looks like it would actually like in this shot towards the end like just before the like your logo comes in i can see there's like an indent right where your thumb would fit mm -hmm. which like um with my mouse the uh super light like there's really not much of an indent it's almost flat it's like mm -hmm. your thumb wouldn't fit terribly comfortably in here um so like my thumb has to really jut out when I'm climbing, but I feel like my thumb would comfortably fit in there and the buttons are like right there. That, that wheel looks like it grips, which looks sexy. All this looks nice. I'm really excited to actually see and use this. Yeah, cloth wire and the, man, that mouse wheel looks sick. I was not expecting that. 
the like design on that. That's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I like the I like the wheel design and I like the Agnari tail. I like the size of it. I haven't used a small mouse before, like a smaller form factor mouse, so that's kind of cool. I'm pumped for that. Yeah. Anything from that video stand out to you? Look out of place? Um, I did not. It went by too quick to see anything like from the underside or anything like that. Checked out the underside. Go back? Yeah, go back earlier. Let's see. Ah, okay. So the, the optics are up top. Interesting. Nice. Yeah, the Perifs logo like right there in the middle of where the sensors normally are. That's interesting. So it's got three pads. And the the lights, the sensor is like far higher than the one on the G Pro. So it's not centered. Correct. Interesting. I wonder if that makes a difference for someone who's wrist aiming more movement because it's farther up. I like the logo on the front and the fact that there's that ca there's that cable, like the corded cable up front. Um, Anything look different? The That um, sensor looks a little different. What about it? The Well, first of all, most sensors are red at least, whether it's the video here or like just in real life as well as the fact that you don't see a D-shaped. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. How about the position of the sensor? It is more up front than straight center in like 99.9% .9 mice. I guess in a competitive FPS, it could help with, um, what's up front, it could help with horizontal movement, maybe a more steady kind of, oh, I don't think I'm a Counter-Strike, I'm thinking more like steady back and forth kind of thing. Going on. You ready to see the real thing? Yeah, let's go for it. Sweet. Dude, I love I love the the style of this with the the cherry blossoms in the background. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Here you go. Let's see it. Yeah, bro, let's let's pop this thing. Let's check it out. Pop this thing like a chair. No. No. Don't it out. Don't. All right. Sick. Hey, all right. Yo. Got the clock. Clock wire. Wow, super light. Super light. Wow, is that is that more because it's a prototype, or is this more like what the weight would actually be? If it was? I'm hoping it will be something like that, but it is a lot because of it's 3D printed plastic. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Oh, you got that little. Oh, it comes. Does it come with this? Not yet, but you know, this one does. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So I already like that because these um, having the arm is really nice. Giving it that USB 3. It's a really long cable for a mouse. It's not like rounded here. If that makes sense. So whenever I have my hand on it, like the my left knuckle and my far right knuckle, like underneath, are touching. Um, but the middle of my mouse isn't, or the middle of my palm isn't. How much difference is that? Like, Alright, it's not that much different actually, it's probably not that big of a deal. It's so, it's so paper. Yeah, it's 3D printed. Oh, okay, sick. So this is like, this is like the second, like the, uh, 
what would you call this? The, like the first draft kind of thing? Yeah, basically. Sick. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's nice. Let's give it a try, shall we? Oh, yeah. Fits my hand so well. It's thick enough. So just like, I, I have big hands. Um, you know what that means? It's tiny desires. Okay. What's great? What's great? That I'm, I'm like already like noticing is like my ability to like snap is like definitely more pronounced than it would be otherwise and i'm worried that i'm having a placebo effect of the effectiveness of the mouse but the laser ring up top allowing you to make more like micro adjustments because it feels closer to where you expect the laser to be like it I, it actually does i do i do feel like i'm in more control but i <laughs> i don't know if it's placebo or the actual mouse but it does actually feel like yeah it does feel like the cursor that I'm looking at is more aligned with like where my fingertips are. If that makes sense. The cursor feels more connected to my to my hand. yet in, in CQC and there was again like that quick being able to like quick lock on even with that distance
I like the glide. It feels so smooth, um, both like with it on this, but also just all of it, um, uh, like the fact that it's all the way up here. Like I don't have to go like this. I can literally, like most of my movements are within this area. And I, I don't have, like usually I would have to like move like this just to freaking get that movement. But now I can literally, I can almost, I can almost like barely do any work. Like this is, it just glides really easily. I think in theory, I can see the use of it being, uh, I can see the mouse design being especially good for um, games that have really small aim differences. For um, Valorant, Counter-Strike, any game where you're sniping a lot, I think that's that's the games, games like um, Overwatch, Apex, um, Call of Duty, the games where the precision isn't quite as important. Um, like you're, you're firing an R99 at someone, it's not really a precise gun. <laughs> I think that, but for like playing CSGO or Valorant that has the very, very precise aim, long distance targets, um, like with a Sheriff or for um, getting, nailing down the exact recoil pattern to hit every shot. Like I think that those kinds of precise movements will matter a lot, this design. I have some uh, thick fingers, and even though this is a little bit narrower than my other mouse, it it fits well within my hand, enough to where it's comfortable. I don't feel cramped or anything like that. Just tell me, what do you think about the mouse? I like it a lot. Um, it, as, as I was saying, during the gaming session, the, um, the side little group here just, made my thumb feel at home and the, the grooves of the top. Um, whether you're a claw player like me at any level, whether like, I feel like I'm more of a mild claw, but even if you're at the extreme or you play flat, it, it your fingers just fit. Um, it feels really comfortable for my big hands, but I feel like even small handed people can really enjoy it as well for comfort and fit and control. When I was able to get into those uh, 1v1s with people, like, and that guy jumped past me, like, on the cliff, uh, or not on the cliff, the, like, bridge across there, being able to, like, just, like, without having to drag the whole way across the mouse pad, which I feel like at the, um, with my BenQ, I would, have, I would have had to cover more distance in order to get over to him. Um, like, that was pretty sweet. Um, and it felt natural. It didn't feel like, uh, you know, I went from that to like going back to feeling in control when looking left to right, like uh, when just like examining my surroundings rather than like in a combat situation. So uh, yeah. Super sick. I thought a smaller mouse would feel like I'm missing something to grip. Um, like this one, you know, my whole hand is touching something. It's, my whole hand's touching, like, you know, some part of it. And I thought it, a smaller one might feel like there's empty space or like I can't uh, grab it properly. But I actually prefer, like, like I actually prefer the the feel of this. Like, it, 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 it's, uh, it just feels like it fits more. I like the cable. The cable is like super light and easy. It's better than any other uh, regular cable I've used. I think it's great. It feels very natural to like be pointing and shooting and clicking. It was just, it felt natural to like, it's where my hand wanted to be. So to me, it was a lot nicer to, to drag and click. And I think it was a very different feeling than you normally have with the mouse because it kind of just feels it's in your hand, but it doesn't feel like kind of a part of what you'd be pointing. It kind of felt more natural to where your fingers are rather than where like the base of your hand is or closer to your wrist, at least how it felt with me with my other mouse compared to this mouse.
this has the this has the potential to be like a really powerful tool for gamers. <laughs> like it like for real. So So with this, it did feel like uh, it did feel like I had more control of my curse of my crosshair. Uh, it felt like the only way I can describe it is like which makes sense because because the the optics, like the optical component of the lasers up on my fingertips, it felt like the crosshair was on my fingertips rather than the crosshair being on my palm. Which I've never thought about a difference before until obviously this mouse because I don't know, I've never used a mouse like this, so um, but it does it does feel like when I'm aiming, it does feel like I can adjust quicker and faster because it feels like 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 I said, it feels like the crosshair's up here rather than I'm adjusting a crosshair down here, which is kind of awkward. Kind of an awkward thing to do when I think about it. I've never thought about it, but now that I've tried both things, I'm like, yeah, why is the crosshair on my palm? Right? It doesn't make it doesn't yeah, why is it? it That's what I thought. I was, I was sitting in my chair and I was looking yeah. at my mouse and just like why is it there? Yeah. And that's that's how this all started. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. With the sensor up towards the front instead of in the middle, I felt like I had way more range of motion in less effort. Instead of having to swing my arm like I typically do, which I'm used to, it's not the worst thing. I can, I can do about the same in about this much, just a little bit more. Um, and it felt awesome. Like it was, it was almost scary. <laughs> like how much, I, how much control I had. Um, you know, unlimited power, as wise man said. <laughs> the sensor placement was interesting. Um, I'm, I would have to play like a bunch more to be really certain, like how it feels, um, and how like how it feels different from playing with like a more standard mouse. Um, I think, I think it makes more of an impact on um, people who are wrist aimers because there's more, it gives more movement. But if you're like, if you're like a, like an arm aimer, you don't have enough mouse pad most of the time to do the full movement. So having that little extra like distance doesn't make much of an impact if you're an arm aimer. aimer. But if you're a wrist aimer, or if you're trying to do um, something really precise, um, I think it makes a, I think it actually makes like a big difference. I don't know, there, there is something about it that is just crisp and clean. There was no lag, there was no input delay. It felt precise and um, I was actually over correcting because I'm used to like having to, like if I was like, oh, I guess I have to move from here to here, a little bit of a flick, it was like here to here. And I'm like, oh crap. Not like that's a bad thing. It's just like, that's how, just because of the sensor up front. I'm, I'd actually be curious to like, you know, I'd, for why other mouse companies haven't put it like this. Or at least haven't tried it. Cause I don't think I've ever seen a mouse have it so, so far up. Yeah, great, great. Playing with this over that initial prototype. Oh my God, world's different. Yeah. And I can actually feel like the difference, like, whereas before, like, um, there was like a lot of, uh, there was a lot of bugginess with that initial prototype. Yeah, it was like mm -hmm. glitching across and like, just, like jumping. With the sensor, yeah. yeah. The sensor's super tight on this one. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely like come a long way. I can definitely tell. And yeah, like all of this, but logo placement, sensor placement, mm -hmm. all that looks great to me. So. Just trying to think if I'm just like a placebo effect and make sure that it wasn't just Oh, it's a new mouse. You're doing better, but no, I think I, I felt like I had more control. It felt better to have that control. So yes, I think it helped with my aim a little bit, but I think it's great. It's a great idea. It feels like when you're moving your mouse around, it does feel like this laser, this optical part of the mouse, is mapped to like the center of your hand because that's where it is you kind of have to think about you kind of have to think about that whereas with this placement the optical component is on your fingertips which is more of a natural connection to like where their crosshair is and where 
the feeling like is in your hand. Like when, if I move this, that corresponds to like this movement on the screen. Like that feels more natural with it being up on your fingertips. You're not moving, you're not doing this whole like hand movement thing. It's just this little, just this little part up here um, that you're thinking about moving. And that feels like, to me, that feels like the more natural part to move rather than this like centered movement thing going on with a typical mouse. Well, there you have it. Thank you for coming with me in this journey. The road ahead is so exciting and I have so much more planned. The minimum order quantity I'm setting for this project is 2000. This is an all or nothing campaign. So if you want one, make sure to support the campaign and share it with friends and social media. Thank you. How much practice do you think it would take you to adjust? Um, I don't think long at all. I mean, like, just in the difference of two games, I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't think it'd take a long time to adjust to it. It didn't feel like, it didn't feel awkward. Like, it didn't, it didn't feel like something that was, like, gonna take time to me to adjust to. I mean, I was starting to get the hang of it towards, like, mid of that game. Like, at least the, you know, looking around thing. But it felt like my ability to, like, snap to enemies, like, uh, improve like pretty quickly so I would say probably probably a couple good hour-long sessions and you'd be good to go so I think like if you whether you play professionally or if you play for fun like whatever I think a few hours a day for the week would be a good adjustment period to get pretty used to it and then after that you just master it like any other mouse I think it would be a good hour to get used to the to the mouse, maybe less, depending on how much you gain. I would say, yeah, 45 minutes to an hour, I think it'd be great to like, I feel like the true difference in it. I don't think it would take a crazy amount of practice. Um, it's, I mean, it's got all the same fundamentals of any other mouse. Um, I think getting, adjusting the biggest hurdle anytime jumping to a new mouse is getting getting used to the shape to the point where it just becomes, you know, like an extension of your hand getting, and the placement of the sensor plays into that, um, getting, adjusting DPI and sensitivity because every mouse is slightly different. Um, that would be like the biggest hurdles. Most of the time, anytime I've swapped peripherals, it's like uh, less than a week till I get adjusted to it. Usually it kind of depends on how much I'm using the client at the time.